while I was coming back from the to bring the rest of the garrison to that castle that I just took from Kerjits. I found a Kerjit army nearby. It's a small army because their lords are don't have too many troops. They actually sieged that castle and they defeated one of my lords, Lord Tilimsan, I think. I just couldn't get to him in time. But I will defeat this small army of theirs now. And they have 142. That's, I think, it's three or four lords. I don't remember now. I haven't checked to. There were maybe six of them actually. And I didn't check who was gonna fight me. the archers here I should really watch out for them for charging for charging archers and I think they're spawning right there so maybe I'll leave the Archers and infantry there. Just awesome at throwing weapons. To be fair, there's a bit of a lag, so I find it a bit hard to line up. It's not a not a huge drop in frames, but it's there. I think I'd lost anyone. There's still more of them? I oh, know that I thought those those riders were not mine. Didn't see the icon above their heads from that distance. I lost one knight. Well, yeah. Hell, let's charge one guy. Why not? And he's dead. three lords and all of them escaped yeah 
That shouldn't surprise me, really. I'll take Master Archers, Knight. And Vigor Archer too. Maybe Serenade. Yeah. Their skirmishes aren't really that good. Okay. Nothing too good. More stuff to sell. Still lost that. See, it says that it's under siege, although there is no army around. Okay, so I leave the troops that I have with me and continue with just cavalry and see when something interesting happens. So I was thinking about who should receive this castle that I just conquered and uh, I think I will give it to Lord Clarice, the one that joined that I gave the Schlesk village before and then I will need to give this village to Tredian because after I give this castle to Kleis his Tredian's relations with me would fall to minus nine I think so to get it up I will need to give him this village and I will lose minus six relations with all those with those core lords those three lords that support each other uh, Gulasen, Mugnir and Telemsan Telemsan still doesn't have a, a castle or a city he has just a Two, two villages so those three lords are actually supporting Telemsan but I'll need to manage this the other way give a castle to Clays and then village to Tredian because I don't see any any other way I want Kleis to have a bigger army because she, he's running around with just 50 troops I think and he has a lot of renown so he will have a big army Antikir Fiv, Distar Castle, Telemsan has support of three vassals we'll give it to Kleis And out the relations with Tredian actually decreased to minus ten. So I will assign Bulugur to Tredian. Cause just I need to do it. And now his relations with me is zero. Which is good good enough I really need to get my relations to, to positive at least positive one with lady some lady because then I will I can pay them to increase my relations with the lord that I have a negative relations with it doesn't go above zero 
but it still helps if if some lord if some lords uh, relations drop too low it's this option but she has a relation with zero with me so she, she, she cannot help me so I'm actually thinking about doing maybe a quest for this lady I have a minus one with her yeah she did doesn't have actually wanted her to give me a quest she offered it earlier but I declined so that's why it dropped to minus one I thought she might give that quest again but no well okay I'll, I will need to win a tournament or something like that and dedicate it to some lady to get uh, an access to that relation boost thing okay so now that our vassals have their fiefs we can continue hunting Kurdish lords and waiting for an opportunity to take more lands at last here we are I got offered a piece from Kurdish and Vegas didn't do anything actually so I'm probably accept this piece because I really don't want to commit myself to long sieges with Vegas on my border and with Vegas being on my border and not at war with anyone because I don't want to risk it and all I have my options are pretty limited as to what I can take so I'll just accept the piece because I can take only Tulbu castle or Sungecha castle because I don't want to take any castles that are or cities that are bordering other factions so I accepted peace and that's fine I might recruit a lot more troops and wait for a good opportunity to maybe attack Kedjits again or maybe Vegas we'll see it might be quite a while before I update again if if the situation lo repeats itself because earlier I spent a really long time in at peace I think more than a month in game time at this point in the game that's that's a lot so see you then when something interesting happens and here we are again it wasn't that long since last war ended and I'm in the new war Vegas finally decided to attack me they got an event where supposedly one of my villages provoked them I don't know and they just declare war wasn't that long after the last war I think I yeah we still have 27 days of truce so that was just three days ago in game days Kajits cannot attack me in another 27 days I think I think that will let me maybe take river check I know that river check is a siege tower city 
but since gadgets cannot attack me for so long after I beat all the big air lords I'll probably try to take river check from them and yeah we'll see how it goes here we are in the we are about to get the, our first encounter in this war and it will be a boy Kurnias He's a former Rodok Lord. He has um, Rodok troops. Quite a lot of sharpshooters actually. But I'm hoping he won't be a problem. The other interesting thing is that he is the Vegir King. His army is of medium quality, some archers, skirmishers, horsemen. But what's interesting is that he's going to Boya Belgars. He's accompanying Boya Belgars party, which means that Boya Belgaru is a Vegas marshal and he's assembling a um, vassal army and if we look at Boyar Belgaru he is the lord of Buluga and Yerbe castles and a few villages but they don't matter in this case which means this and this castle I think he's assembling an army near Buluga I'm guessing near Buluga castle maybe near Yerbe so what I will do is I will go around after I beat these two armies I'll I'll be hanging around this area and intercepting any Vega lords that trying to uh, join the vassal army and after that I'll beat the Belgaro himself and I think that will be enough to get to buy me enough time to take some troops, maybe a few vassals and siege river check. That's my plan at least. We'll see if I succeed, but now I'll proceed to destroy these few armies here, starting from Kurnia's party. Again, I have uh, an army of mainly Swadian knights and some few Mamluks and Gurgit lances. I have 84. You don't need any more because of my settings. The limit is 150, so even in the best case scenario I wouldn't get any more than 80 70 on the field and then you don't need any more because we saw what the heavy cavalry does to all other troops and the terrain is actually not in my favor this time oh fuck damn it see what I meant they are on the hill and these fuckers are really trying to annoy me by not letting me through he has a lot of sharpshooters that he couldn't have asked for the better for better position These things can really screw you up. I fuck off. I cannot see anything and yeah, I'm starting losing. Which is 
Could you please get these? Damn it. And of course they're spawning on the... That is a lot of... Rodok sergeants, I think. Why am I losing knights? No, 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 please no. I really should. Well, at this rate, actually, I might start losing a lot more people. The situation here was really not in my favor. I mean, what the hell? They're spawning on this hill? A Rodok army spawning on this hill and I'm so spawning all, all, all the way down there? Yeah. That was bullshit. Well, I lost four. I lost five. I will take you prisoner just out of spite. I really didn't like that. Didn't like that at all. Such is the way of life, I guess. Now, let's take out the king. Could I catch you both separately, please? No, you won't let me. Maybe? Shit, no. The king joined us. Okay, whatever. Just please. Let me through, please. Oh wow, we might actually be in trouble. Just 24 against 100? That's some major bullshit there. I guess I should have attacked them separately. Let's see how we should approach this. Oh wow. <laughs> This might end badly. Actually, I didn't lose anyone.
think I need to assemble my troops in one place again. Then charge again. killing them but I don't know at what rate we should be killing them I got these these horses are really annoying no don't stop main thing is not to stop god how oh, did I? Oh, I'm starting to. Archers, archers, archers. Oh fuck, I might lose my horse. I should really... Enforcements, which is good. Now my horse will probably die soon. Well, he did die. I need a horse, I need a horse, I need a horse. Please, I need a horse. Ah, oh, shit. Well. I got nine killed. And eleven wounded. Could we still make it? I don't know. Maybe. I think I have a lot more troops now, so maybe we could pull this off. Yeah, pro probably. I'll just... I need not to die. Already in the first charge we took quite a few of them. They are spawning again. Mm. 
man. Oh, no, 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 no. That wasn't too good. We need to approach this very carefully. Still might do it. No, why did you die? Okay, we won the second round. I think there will be another one. I lost two. Now I think I can say that we will win. We will win this. I think I'll wait for them to get down if they're going to hey guys you were the attacking force and now you're waiting okay I hate this bullshit they were attacking force and now they're just gonna stand on the hill well then I'm going to approach them from the side where their position isn't going to be as good as they think it is. Oh wow! That's marksman for you. But if we close the gap without any losses, then they're dead. Yeah, they won't be able to do anything now. Just die in droves. Now we have some horsemen here, I see. And I did the stupid this thing. Okay, so I think we won, but I think I might be forced to get back to my to my castle, to my city, and replenish some troops before I take on the marshals. Their marshal. It's a fight against four.
Come on. That's it. And they both ex escaped. I still have a decent force of 35 knights. Maybe I couldn't take on the same size army again, but I could definitely defeat a uh, hundred or so troop armies. A lot of people leveling up. So we defeated the three lords now, and I will continue hunting them and leveling up my troops off screen and when we reach some important and interesting point, I will update again.